hi guys welcome back okay so today as you can see I have kind of a springtime eye look I wanted to do something with pastels or kind of like neon shades but this is what I ended up with because the shadows weren't as bright as I thought they would be but I still like how the look came out so let's just go ahead and jump right in I'm starting out as you can see by just kind of brushing up what little bit of eyebrow hairs I do have before I start filling them in. I'm using my LA Girl Slim Shady or Shady Slim <laughs> eyebrow pencil. And this one is like the blackest brown color. This is my absolute favorite eyebrow pencil, you guys. I will never ever stop using this eyebrow pencil because it just works so easily to fill in my brows build them up actually make it look like I have some brows so I love this eyebrow pencil now to clean up underneath and above my brows as usual I'm using my wet n wild concealer this is just a photo focus concealer and it works perfectly for me just to clean up my brows and make them look nice and neat now to prep my lids today I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer I haven't used it in a while so I decided I wanted to go ahead and use it today for a nice even base and the palette that I chose is this NYX Ultimate Edit this is the bright one that they have and I'm starting out with this purple shade and this purple shade is more like a pinky purple. It's not like a deep plum purple, so it's kind of bright, but not as bright as I expected it to be. Still very nicely pigmented, so I'm just tapping that in my outer corners just to kind of create the shape for this eye look. Right next to that, I'm going into the blue from this palette. Now this blue shade, very, very pretty. All of the colors are nicely pigmented. I think for this cute little palette, they're pretty nicely pigmented. They aren't amazing or anything like that, but they did build up and blend out fairly nicely. So I think these little palettes are actually quite nice from NYX. Now next to that blue, I'm going in with the green and I'm just taking a fluffy brush and tapping that right next to that blue just gently blending those two colors together. As you can see, I'm not really stressing out over this eye look too much. I'm basically just throwing color on my lids and blending them together. So very, very simple eye look. Now I wanted to use a different type of shimmer. Um, so I'm going into one of my Huda Beauty Neon palettes. And I'm going in with that shimmer shadow. It's kind of like a iridescent purple and green topper shimmer. I don't really care for these shimmers that much just because of the fact that you have to build them up to really see them. I mean, they're extremely gorgeous when you swatch them, but as you can see, you do have to build them up a bit. Now, right next to that, I decided to go back in with the blue because I wanted to just kind of blend out the edge of that shimmer a little bit and incorporate a little more blue into this look. Now I decided I wanted a little bit of a brighter look for that shimmer. So I went into that lighter shimmer shadow and just kind of grabbed a bunch of it and <laughs> sprayed my brush, tapped it on top of that first shimmer just to make it a little bit brighter. So I like that better. Now for my wing today, as usual, I'm using my NYX Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner. This is my absolute favorite eyeliner. I have several backups because I don't ever wanna run out of it. I just love the way this eyeliner looks. It dries down matte and it's very, very easy to use. So for my face, for primer today, I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really like how this primer feels on my face. I was kind of apprehensive about using it, but now that I'm used to it, I really like it. I like how it lays down a nice base for my foundation and just holds my makeup in place. 
Now for my dark circles and hyperpigmentation, I'm going in with my Pretty Vulgar Concealer. As you can see, I'm just really concealing those dark circles, trying to hide that little five o'clock shadow around my mouth <laughs> and just, you know, make it a little bit easier so I don't have to use as much foundation, even though you guys know I am a full coverage chick. So today I'm using my Physician's Formula. This is the Healthy Foundation. I love this foundation, you guys. It's just, it's so light, very nice coverage. I mean, you can go from a light coverage, medium coverage, or full coverage, whatever you want. As you can see, as I blend this out with my brush, the coverage is very, very nice, but I'm using a decent amount of foundation because I know that I like full coverage. It still leaves you with a nice, healthy glow. I just love this foundation, you guys. Very, very nice. I suggest if you like uh, buildable coverage that still looks nice and healthy, not too cakey, try this foundation out. It's very lightweight as well. Now to do a bit of highlighting under my eyes and around my mouth, I'm using my Maybelline. This is the Shine Free Loose Powder. I have the shade Medium 02. I think that was the darkest shade that they actually had when I ordered it. But I really like this powder, but <laughs> I definitely feel like it has a little bit of shine to it. It could just be all in my head, but when I use it, I feel like I see a little bit of shine. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Kiss Professional. This is my Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. Just making sure the rest of my foundation is nicely set on my face. I love this foundation, you guys. Well, this powder foundation. The color fits me perfectly. It sets everything in place. I really, really like it. It's so affordable. Now for bronzing, I'm going in with my Minted and AB, what is it, ABF Collab Bronzer Powder, Bronzer Palette, or Duo, I should say. Can't get that out. But this is the um, Season 2. I have both Season 1 and Season 2, but Season 2 is a little bit richer. So that's what I'm using today. And for blush, I'm going into my Patricia Bright and Revolution Palette. And I'm using that gorgeous kind of like burgundy shade of blush. Ugh. Whenever I want that beautiful burgundy deep richness, that's the blush that I go for. Now you guys, I just started using this new highlighter. It's the Revlon Skin Lights. I have the shade Gilded Dawn. And it's such a nice, just beautiful, healthy glow. It's definitely buildable, so if you want to beam to the heavens, you can. But as you can see, it's just a nice light glow, and I love it. Now, to finish up my lower lash line, I'm going in with one of my LA Girl eyeliners. This is one of the neon ones. Uh, what is this one called? Blaze. It's a pink one called Blaze. And underneath that, I'm just tapping some of that green shadow just beneath that on my lower lash line. I did get quite a bit of fallout from that green, but thankfully it did sweep away easily. Y'all, I had no idea what I wanted to do with these colors. I just knew <laughs> that I wanted to play around with some craziness today. So I'm going into the pink Huda Beauty palette, neon, and I'm using that center shimmer, which is like a really pretty light purple or lavender kind of iridescent shimmer see how pretty that is that is gorgeous you guys it really pulled this look together with that purple that i have on the outer corner to pop that purple in my um you know tear duct just gorgeous for lips i'm going in with my bff4 ColourPop lip liner i'm going to put on some of my shayla lipstick and slow down and top that off with some of my e.l.f. Mocha Twist Lip Gloss. You guys know I love this combo. My favorite nude lip combo. And this is the look, you guys. It wasn't exactly what I had planned. I was thinking it would be a little bit more kind of pinky, yellow, eastery. But as I started picking shades, these are the shades that I picked. And I really, really like it. I think it still says spring 
and kind of has like an Easter feel to it. And I'm not mad at it. Really, really like it. So you guys let me know in the comments what you think. If you like it, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to your girl. Check out a few more videos and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!